Part 3, Video 4 In this video, we will understand fixed blades, moving blades, nozzles, various bearings, coupling etc. First we will see blades that are fixed blades and moving blades of turbine. Turbines have two stacks of blades. One set of moving blades and other is fixed blades. Moving blades are attached to the rotor disc and fixed blades are attached to the inner side of casing. Moving blades produces torque and power from the steam flowing over them, which causes rotation of complete set of moving blades and axle. When steam flows in forward direction, its pressure and velocity reduces. Here comes the role of fixed blades. They increase and maintain velocity and redirect the steam to next moving blades. These fixed blades are also called nozzles or guide vanes. If we see cross section of blade, we find its airfoil shape. It helps in creating pressure difference which in turn creates lift force. The lift force then rotates the turbine. Now, what does stage stand for? We have seen that turbine is arranged with alternating moving and fixed blades. Each set of moving and fixed blade is called stage. Since turbine is huge rotating body, it is mounted on two types of bearings to absorb radial and axial load causing due to its rotation. These bearings are called journal bearing and thrust bearing. Journal bearings are mounted at both ends of rotor to support its weight. Journal bearings 1 2 bearings per rotor 2 it is made up of two halves. 3. It is filled with oil to provide lubrication. 4. It absorbs radial load of rotor due to its weight and rotary motion. Next comes thrust bearing. It is located at steam and let side of the turbine. Thrust bearing 1. One bearing at inlet side. 2. It absorbs axial thrust on the rotor due to steam flow and maintain its position. 3. It is provided with color to restrict axial movement. Now comes gland sealing. Purpose of gland sealing is to seal turbine and prevent any kind of leakage or escape, like gland sealing. 1. It prevents air ingress at turbine exhaust side. Pressure becomes lower than atmospheric pressure. Then there are chances of air ingress into the turbine. Gland sealing is done to prevent air ingress at such location. 2. It prevents steam escape to the atmosphere. At turbine inlet side, pressure is higher than outside atmospheric pressure. It will cause escape of steam out of turbine, which will impact efficiency adversely. Therefore gland sealing is done to prevent steam escape. In large steam turbines labyrinth sealing is used for this purpose. Its structure is shown here. teeth like structure fits in the space or grooves and seal it. That's all about today's session. In our next video we will show working of steam turbine. Please subscribe and share which will help us to grow. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.